My family. My father, he's a blowhead. I cannot even talk with him. Because whenever I want to talk about animal rights issues, he becomes passive aggressive and blame it on me and saying that I've been the one that been uh, forcing something on him and he is not ready to look it from the position of me or the family animals. My father is extremely myopic. One thing I also have with my father is if I try to talk with him, it seems that I mean talking to a um, wall. Anything I say, it seems one not to get to him. He blindly accused me of being rude and offensive, but he is the one that are passive aggressive to me, the ones that defend innocent living beings, that uh, want to reduce um, the amount of suffering and the amount of uh, the opportunities that I know trying to um, go into the upper and kill many of um, species, the one that's um, stands for something when he is the one that uh, technically say let the status quo just like the way being uh, don't try to offense, offense me because uh, I am uh, also human and I uh, and animals are um, I have the right to weed and that's what my father technically say to me even I, I use arguments like that is very bad for the planet because animal agriculture is responsible for 51% of the greenhouse gas emissions. That is something like 30.5% um, 30, 30, um, um, billion tons of uh, Carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. If I say, even if I talk about the rainforests that are greatly cut, mainly because of cattle ranching, um, small agriculture, um, what's being small agriculture, mainly things like soy or corn, uh, this was large scale agriculture, I mean, that's a lot of mice, so, uh, koi, uh, corn, uh, rice. That kind of stuff. Stuff that are also being mainly given to livestock. A lot of the uh, plant food from uh, small agriculture is also given to livestock. So you don't have to be Einstein to figure out that uh, animal agriculture is the biggest cost of deforestation, um, ocean pollution also, because uh, lots of animals produce a lot of shit, something like um, 100, or 5,000, uh, yeah, 500,000, um, ton of shit of feces um, any two seconds that create ocean dead zones is extremely toxic for the environment in contrary with uh, plant products how don't produce feces and also don't produce create ocean dead zones with with can't you see it no matter if you look to all the innocent living animals, 
Oh, just like you dogs and cats want to be free. Even if I use that argument, it seems that I talk to a um, wall. I mean, even not to want to acknowledge that he is a species. Because that is not something that, uh, that uh, is good in his image. Because he, uh, if I, he, I try to explain to you, but he, anytime that I talk to him, he uh, become passive aggressive and say uh, that I, I technically say that I force something on him. When he is the one that forced his lifestyle on innocent living beings, and so his lifestyle forced it that uh, children in Africa are dying from starvation any two seconds one child starts from starvation his choice is the reason that we are can have in the yeah the choice like people of people like him are being the reason that we in the two in the year two thousand and 40, 46, we can have no rainforest at all. Almost 50% of all for our animal feed is set aside for animal feed. And that's a conservative estimate. Would I, would I even use, if I use some of the health benefits? He seems to go flat, le close to it. Uh, if I say, if, I, if he thinks that I don't know where I talk about, but well, in reality, so if you know, if you check my links in the description of most of all my videos, you know I know where I talk about. I am not a um, shit artist, and I certainly be not a politician, and say things people like to um, like me to say, because it can help their ego. I mean, to speak, I speak the truth. Truth is hard. People make fun of it. Then, violent opposition. Because people understand that there is an atrocity to play, taking place. But they refuse to see and do something about it. Because people hate change. Number three. People will understand it. There's no longer a way you can excuse it. But sadly enough for the victims, and that's something that hurt me a lot. Father or mother or sister if you listen to this video. My mom my sister is veg um, my mother is vegetarian. And um, eat lesser cheese and uh, eggs uh, than she did before. Uh, I think she only drink milk. So I think she is a uh, lacto vegetarian. Yeah, over, over vegetarian, so she eats no eggs earlier and all. Uh, that can be problem. I can, it can be say, that he also eat that because I don't know anything that he eat. Uh, but I think yes. Um, but my sister she eat less meat. She's a vegetarian. I think that you can call that. But I think that is, is also something that I find sad because it is pretty easy to become vegan. 
Het is nou, het is actually, the only reason that people think that it's hard to be vegan is because they're used to victimize their mindset and not give it even a try. They use the same kind of mindset that the kings and queens of the Middle Ages use when they exploit their uh, farmers. And uh, hold uh, very big uh, competitions with each other. And not look out for their populations. Would create a civil war. Wars of the world. You understand? That all are justifiable. Just like the Allied forces is completely justifiable when they destroy camps, camps of, no, of Ur Burger and Nautilus. Just like the elf, the animal liberation fraud, are completely justifiable if they destroy property of uh, vivisectionists or farmers on the animal holocaust. The Sapiers. And even if they want even if they're accidentally, maybe once in 30 years, harm somebody, then even, yeah, it is justified because in the first place, these people have no right, the people that exploit the animals, to exploit them. Then we have, um, then we have vicarious self-defense. Or uh, when a victim is not capable of defending himself, if somebody else do that, then it isn't justifiable action. If you understand what I mean. Imagine you being attacked, but you are cannot defend yourself because you are weaker and uh, and have no weapons to defend yourself against somebody who's three times the size of you. But somebody else see that, and he, um, in order to defend you. He accidentally kill the person who attacked you. Then this is a case of vicarious self-defense, and it's a noble act. Just like it is a noble act if you see somebody abusing a dog or a pig, you, and you take uh, the life of their abuser away. I know some of you find that offensive, because you are an anthropocentrist. And anthropocentrists are illogical and think that human life is more important than anything on this whole planet. When in reality, humans are one of the most unspecial things on this whole planet. Be aware that if pollinators like bees, butterflies, and so forth, and some kind of birds, are disappear, that the whole, that the whole food sector will collapse. We have no food. Most of our food will not grow. If phytoplankton, tiny marine animals, are disappear, the whole ecosystem will collapse because phytoplankton are responsible for 50 to 70 percent of all the oxygen on, on Earth. That's how important they are. If humans are disappear, the whole ecosystem clean up. The sea, the water, the forest. If humans are the only ones that can be disappearing on this planet, and anything become better. Why and how do humans th humans think that they are so special? This is the complete opposite. Veganism is people's own chance to get respect from reality. Yeah. Veganism is the least you can do to um, live in harmony with this planet and this ecosystem. I don't know in the time the terminology of um, speciesist. But my father is a first class speciesist. Which all just like with all forms of discrimination, you have two types, at least two types. Racists, sexists, and speciesists. 
In the first place, they look the same. But if you try to talk with them, one will, will maybe open their mind and rethink their actions. Or what they have done. But the other group, they will not see. And that's the evil kind, the more evil kind of the discriminator. It is not a problem that you make a mistake in your life. The more problematic thing is not what we want to see. Your errors make a plea no longer for the way you are living and move forward. I say that it is evil that people say that it is okay to uh, eat other animals because humans don't need to survive. I've used that in the time that I met that there have been hundreds and hundreds of vegans and vegetarians that not live on a meat diet, but he blamed the passive-aggressive part on me. And you do not want to me. You break me away from you. You do that too much. It's particular if it are family. People, you must understand that you, if you are family, don't need that you can get a free patch to spread, spread lies, shit and hatred to my friends, my mother, she's still a hypocrite, but she is in control with my father, listening to what I have to say. I can remember myself on a conversation that I had with my father, I was, I mean, year of 12 years I, that's the time that I figure out all the all these shit that he, and they're being hit on the planet with the animals all the tortures, all the rapes all the baby stealing those feel offended by that because it is the truth I am not a politician I don't sugarcoat the truth When I was to try to explain why it is evil to him, he simply replies, "When I say that it's racist, it's racist, uh, that it is not racist, and uses logical fallacy." Yes, it is indeed. If you look on the first place, not racist, because it is not a human, but that is speciesist also. If you believe that race uh, is, for example, only by humans, then you completely deny that wolves are from the same kind of species as dogs. And then you can say that if you've been against the killing of dogs in China, and you've been, and you've been for hunting of foxes and coyotes, are, that are being from the same species. Only a different race, a different mutation of the same species, then you are a racist. Interspecial racist. Another way I can say you are a sexist if you think that it is okay to. Uh, Kill baby male animals in a rendering machine because there are no fun for the meat dairy and egg industry. Because male uh, chickens don't lay eggs. That is sexist. The systematic sexism. This 
commercialized sexism. Also, that there are bodies of the women being commodified, apart, commercialized, and used as marketing strategies. Or for men, dominates. That's sexism. Artificial insemination is sexism. You commodify the body of a female animal. You understand? This is speciesism. If you say that, that's not sexism. So pl no play your games on me. Because there is no absolute moral standpoint to say that it's not the same. How can, how can uh, an old power being given about something like that? Other part of neurons that uh, have uh, that act in a different way. I mean nature with that because I don't believe in humans like that. Humans are myopic, arrogant, and foolish. Morality don't give about human dogmas. Morality is based on the everyday phenomena of compassion, without any alternative consideration, wherein the suffering of one being is in the barriers of um, the ego and the non-ego is for a moment and lost, and therefore the suffering person feels no different than the one that's watched the suffering. And therefore, the compassion person is without ego, and therefore is not egocentrism. And therefore, the compassion person, and uh, yes, and let's say that with the compassion person, um, have the capacity to watch something from the other's position, and then make this person. Altruistic, and therefore, this person that can do this is moral. And I say by that criteria that morality is the only true, pure form of moral conduct. All the other two are not forms of morality. Because there are no viral in the bigger picture. Ego leads to the satisfaction of only yourself. Malice leads to corruption of the masses. Compassion leads to noblest and altruism. Uh, Schopenhauer explained in his book Absolute Morality. I am not a politician. I don't lie. I speak the truth, and the truth is harsh. Father, if you watch this video, look yourself in the mirror and go vegan. I know you love some animals like uh, dogs, and you have. I uh, find my mother when you both work for the animal uh, ambulance.
And you uh, have um, saved some animals also. So I understand that you understand the difference between right and wrong. Because you also uh, hate uh, when my sister is hurt. So why not hate people that harm animals and go vegan? And my mother, you watch this. It's not so hard to be a vegan. You save a lot of water, you save innocent living beings their life. How about if we free? How about to be with, with beings in their life that are truly in their life? You can directly take a part in their freedom instead of playing lip service to all of the problems of the world. Father, it's to you. My father accused me of um, being uh, the one that forced it, uh, my belief on him. I was the one that being wrong in this one. And I get house arrest for saying that my father was a hypocrite. And he was not to listen, and to this day, he refused to tell or to uh, open his mind about the suffering to the victims he caused suffering to on a daily basis anytime that i put one video to him i hope that he wants to watch his wrongs even i don't send his slaughterhouse videos but it's just a video from emily from biotech vegan For example, the open your eyes video, or one uh, other uh, where the being with statics show that animal husbandry and animals fishing, uh, fishing are slave trading, like I call it. I call it fishing and slave traders. Because they act the same way as slave traders of the middle age. They go into areas and kidnap other uh, groups of uh, sentient beings and put them to uh, selling. To the auction house. And sold their bodies, sold their lives. No nobility in this kind of barbarity. Have you the courage to look yourself in the mirror and say, The things I have done are terrible, but now I make, my, I make an excuse for it. I apologize for the way of living. Stop making excuses. I don't respect violent traditions. Meet there and act eating or asking for vegan respect is just like pedophiles asking respect from people who don't abuse children. Meet there and act eating or asking for respect is just like rapists asking for respect for their choice to molest women. Eaters asking for vegan respect is just like 
Cannibals asking respect from people who don't eat human animals. It don't work this way. Make you excuse a push for the way you have lived. Make a plea and move a wolf. A wolf is not hard to be vegan. Serious. It only seems hard because people are so comfort to uh, don't give a fuck about anything. Be a selfish little consumer. But if you actually try, you find out that there have been many things you still can eat. You can still eat beans, lentils, legumes, tofu. Tofu is a substance. Let's have a similar taste like um, chicken, chicken flesh. If you marry a native with the same sauces, you don't can taste the difference. And all vitamins and minerals for the people that are afraid for that come from plant products. That's where all vitamins, all the minerals come from. They don't come from animal products. And vitamin B12 is when bacteria that naturally live in the mouth and intestines of all animals. That's where all animals on this planet get the vitamin B12 from, not from animals. Animals also be injected with vitamin B12 in this time and age. So you can take a vitamin B12 injection, or you can eat some dirt on the ground that also have vitamin B12. Because vitamin B12 also come in the waterway. At least if the waterway is not toxicated by animal agriculture. And all the, all the antibiotics that the animals eat and that come in the waterway because animals shit a lot. Awaken humanity. Injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. Injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. Peace begins on the day of table. You are having no rights to choose and pick which kind of discrimination you like or not. That is injustice, that's a violation. Then you are not one good person. Good people don't talk about morality, peace, compassion, and they are actually given it. And cause the least amount of harm possible on this planet. Father, have you the courage? Have you the decency to make a plea and move forward? Look, look into the article that I've sent you with all, uh, with all, the, uh, with all the links that I've made for my next um, video in my language. On my other channel. Peace, Father.
It is not a problem that you make a mistake in your pocket. The more problem it thing is not I want to see your errors make a play belongs for the way you are living and move forward. I say that it is evil that people say that it is okay to um, eat other animals because humans don't need to survive. I've used that in the time that are that there are being hundreds and hundreds of vegans and vegetarians that do not live on a meat diet. But he blamed the passive aggressive card on me. And you do not know to me. You break me away from you. You do that too much. It's particular if it are venom. People you must understand that you, if you are family, don't mean that you can get a free patch to spread, spread lies, shit, and hatred to my friends. My mother, she's still a hypocrite, but she is in contact with my father, listening to what I have to say. And she have give up uh, animal flesh and reduce in our other animal products. He is uh, now vegetarian. I wish that my mother looked in the eyes of the baby cubs. I realize that they're just. Not wanting to be taken away from their mothers and understand what I understand on that very day. You know, as a year or two, on my village where I live, that animals are not here on this planet for us. being see himself as something separate from the rest, a kind of an optional illusion of their consciousness, I say this is. This illusion creates a kind of matrix in where humans can be arrogant, cunt to their victims. One of the last things I have said to him. My fa to my father, before I say that, uh, before I have put an, uh, an article, a couple of articles to him with uh, the text that humans have done it meat for centuries, make it not good. The same kind of logic you can say that we can use to uh, eat other humans because. Humans have also done this for centuries. You don't can pick and choose which kind of farming discrimination you like or not. I will be announced. I will not excuse. The empathy of the masses is enough to raise erect the dead. I'll be announced. I will not. holding my mouth when there are victims in the scenario. And then I'll put articles to uh, the Rainforest Protection Agency that claims that uh, at least 50, uh, at least uh, something like uh, uh, 91% of the rainforest is cut for animal slavery or husbandry or factory farming or how you want to call it, which kind of stupid euphemism you want to use to protect your violent behavior. I am not a politician. I don't lie. I speak the truth and the truth is harsh. 
Father, if you watch this video, look yourself in the mirror and go vegan. Peace. Father. Do you know which that's me? Animals don't want to be your victim. It is not about me or about you. It is about living innocent living beings who have nothing harmed you ever once in your whole life. Stop being a passive aggressive. Talk nice guy. You can still be a good talk nice guy, but then you have to be uh, still uh, stopping consuming animal products. Stop playing lip service to all the injustice of the world. Stop playing lip service to uh, all the problems of the world. Stop break you blind us away, father. Why break you blinders away? I am not a problem here. My actions defend innocent living animals. My position defends people in Africa that die from starvation any two seconds because of people like you who choose to eat meat, dairy and eggs. How of the arrogant kings and queens mindset and believe that they have a choice to let children in Africa die from starvation because they want to eat meat, dairy and eggs. Because they want to uh, wear skin clothing. Because they want to uh, to believe that they are more that they're superior to all their animals. When in reality in no way one exploiter is more special than the victim. In reality, that you can exploit somebody and you do it, make you worse than if you can do it, but you don't do it. Take a reality pill. I want to give you the red pill out of the matrix. You can be a hero for so much innocent living beings. Stop being so passive aggressive. Stop playing like a king and queen. My stepmother and my father. You not even want to listen to me. And if I try, you go passive aggressive. And that's the reason I have put it in on text and put it to you. Not only bad memories about them, um, it's particular. I'm not only bad memories about my father. Back in old town, before I uh, stand for something, stand for innocent living beings, stand for the protection of the environment of this earth. Set against arrogance, traditions, beliefs, and habits. Uh, better contact with my mother. If you want to lose something in this world, stand for something. Stand for something long enough, and you know 
How are your friends? How and how are you true family? Well, something that I can remember also from my father was have once a time say that somebody have to uh, work on both sides of it. That you don't can be the one that work only about some relation. You are a fucking hypocrite, father. The only thing I ask you, to let the animals alone, stop consuming animal products, eat beans, land of the coons, eat fruits, but let the animals alone. It is 2070. Give it up! It is not funny. It is not cute because animals are suffering because of people like you. And you can be the solution to their suffering if you are stopping their suffering. You can do it one, two, three times a day. You can stop the rapes that have been happening to animals. Not to all, but at least to the ones that you abuse any day. For your food choices. You do the work not yourself. But you are responsible. Supply and demand. In the country where I live. Small country. They murder something like 150 million animals any year to satisfy their meat dairy neck and addiction it's a conservative estimate peace begins on the dinner table by what you eat on a daily basis You are or do not serve no respect because you are a human You deserve respect because you are a person of fire Peace, compassion don't mean anything It only means something If you practice this yourself no, By any day Check my recipe videos for more vegan inspiration for my other channel. Awaken. Make the connection. If you are against uh, the dog rituals in China, you have equal to be opposed to the, um, of the murdering of billions and billions of innocent living beings any year that are being executed for something apathetic as a burger. Peace 
peace, compassion, it's not something you talk about. It is something that you actually give. 